Anyway, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the definition of permutation. So a permutation is arrangement of objects in a certain order. So this is the key element to whether it's a permutation or a combination. A permutation, the order is important. So this would be like first, second, third place in a race or um, putting people into classifications like president, vice president, treasurer, etc. Um, the order matters of how you do it. So for example that I have written down here is that the results of winning a race would be a permutation. So if I have the arrangement where Gary comes in first, Rahid comes in second, and Jim comes in third, that is different than Rahid coming in first, Jim coming in second, and Gary coming in third. So this would be a permutation um, because the order is important. So if you are looking at all of the objects being arranged, so like for example if you have um, 10 books that you want to put on a shelf or you have five books that you want to put on a shelf, if you're talking about all of the objects and they're all being arranged in a number of distinct um, permutations, you can find it by doing n factorial. And n factorial is equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times 3 times 2 times 1. And I know for a lot of you this is confusing because of the fact that it's a variable, so I just put an example right here. 5 factorial means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So 10 factorial would be 10 times 9 all the way down to 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, um, so that's all the formula is saying. It's just a shorthand way of writing things. Majority of calculators, including cell phone calculators, have factorial on them. You just have to turn your um, cell phone sideways to access the scientific functions. Um, all scientific calculators have factorial on there, and um, I did not write it down, but this exclamation in math, I keep saying it, is read as factorial. So anytime in math you see an exclamation point next to a number, that means factorial, which is um, taking the value, starting with a value that's given, times one less, times one less, all the way until you get to one. Something that you probably want to know for this in case it happens, um, zero factorial is equal to one, and that's always going to be the case. Zero factorial is going to be equal to one. Um, because, like, for example, if we start looking at this, um, this formula, this formula is when we have some of the items are being selected out of a total of n items, so r represents the number of items that we are selecting out of the total number of items that we select, and we use the formula npr equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So to get this formula up here, what happened is if n and r are equal to each other, they are going to be, like if I had five things and I'm taking five at a time, I would have five minus five down here, which gives me zero factorial. And we can't divide by zero, so that equals one, because this only happens one time. So just remember that zero factorial is one in case that shows up. Um, but the formula right here, this is read as the number of permutations taken r at a time. So what I did down here, and I'm going to do some more examples of this in other videos so that you can see it in action, um, but for what I have here is we have an example of five things taken two at a time. We would write it as 5pr equals 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 factorial equals 5 factorial over 3 factorial because 5 minus 2 is 3, so I just simplified it. And then the way that you simplify this is you'll write it out as this is really 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, 3 factorial is really 3 times 2 times 1, so these two end up canceling each other out. Um, so I always write it until I get to the same as the bottom one or to the... Uh, Later in combinations, it's a little more complicated, so I go to the highest one. Um, but if you do this, then you can cancel that out, and we can just see that 5 times 4 is 20. So there are 20 ways of taking 5 things, 2 at a time. So with this, remember permutations, order is important. If order is not important, that's combinations. As always, thanks for watching. Um, if you have any additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know. If there are any questions that you have, please let me know as well. Uh, and I will do videos showing you how to do this in the calculator because there is a nice little trick where this is already programmed into your calculator.